If you want to learn how to make a video like this, I'm about to show you what I do step-by-step step as a full-time content creator. I always start by turning on all the lights in my house and then I clean my camera lens and set my tripod up. This had two points of view. I filmed one single video for point of view one and then another one for point of view two. So point of view one, I open the laundry door. I'm holding out the laundry detergent sheets in front of the camera. I have a video of me pulling it out. I'm just doing basically what I would be doing regardless. I'm just documenting it. So I walk towards the washer, I throw the detergent detergent sheet in the washing machine and then I grab my phone and create a new video for point of view to putting my phone in the washing machine and starting all over. I walk towards it, I open the door, I throw the sheet in and I walk away. So I did the same motion two times, two different points of view. I will show you how to edit the video together. Part two of showing you guys exactly how to create a transitional video just like this, here's my editing process. I used the app InShot and I brought the two clips into my timeline. And because I did have that stop motion technique at the beginning where the first three shots were not me doing any action, I split a little bit of that still shot from the video into its own clip and after I opened the door, I split that little second into its own clip as well so that it looked like the door opened by itself as you can see here. And then I drug and deleted all the footage that I didn't want before getting to the laundry sheet shot. I basically wanted the third clip to look like a photo where I'm like being super still holding the laundry detergent Grove branding and then I drug and deleted it until I was actually pulling out that laundry sheet. It's also ASMR. It has a really nice sound to it and I watched the video through to make sure that these first four clips were what I wanted before walking towards the washing machine. So now I just deleted all of the footage that I wasn't going to use until I get to the frame where I'm actually walking to the washing machine and opening up the door so once I found that I wanted point of view 2 to come into play so I split this part into its own clip and I did delete the rest of it but I'll show you later how to add it back now I'm at the video clip number two point of view 2 where I am walking towards the washing machine and you're actually in the washing machine watching me so I deleted all the footage before and I wanted this to start exactly where the last clip ended from point of view 1 in point of view 1 I was bending down and throwing the laundry sheet into the washing machine. So for point of view two, I wanted that same motion, but from the different angle. Then once I got that looking seamless, I went ahead and started to chop up the other point of view one to incorporate it and switch back and forth between the two. And since I had deleted point of view one's remaining end part, I just went back and I duplicated the shot that I did have. And now I'm just going to drag out the timeline, essentially restoring that footage I deleted and finding where I left off from point of view too. I know it gets confusing, but essentially you just want each of the two angles. You can do as much or as little as you want. You want them to match. You want every action you're doing to make sense. And that's basically it. And this is how that video ended up turning out. Good. 